Well, hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Thanks for joining us. I'm E.R. Wolf. I'm joined by my partner, Guy Tool over there. We're with LFI on the corporate team, and this is Friday with the founders. So this is your opportunity to connect with us live in a roundtable environment where uh, we're going to go through an agenda. If you guys saw the latest uh, broadcasts, you know what that agenda is going to be like. We're going to start to stick with the format agenda, so that way we can reshare these out and invite others uh, to attend as well. And we want to make these as valuable as possible for the LFI community. This is our number one goal is to connect with you, support you, and help you achieve what you're trying to accomplish specifically within the LFI affiliate program. And that's where we're going to start with everything on today's Friday with the founders. I think this is so important and critical, whether this is your first call with us or as a lot of you on here, whether you've been on this call before, we're gonna go through the affiliate program and we're gonna talk about a few things that are gonna be helpful for you when going out and promoting as an LFI affiliate. So I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna jump over to the affiliate page of the website. You guys have access to this page 24 seven, 365. So you can use this as a marketing tool. And in fact, if you look up here at the URL, You'll see at the end, I have my affiliate ID. Obviously, mine is pretty simple. It's slash ER. You can log into your affiliate uh, central account, your affiliate.lfi.com, and find your referral ID or your invite code. And all you have to do is, after any of these pages, just do a slash and your invite code. And if you share this information with somebody and they come on and make a buying decision, they sign up, it's going to be tagged to you. You'll get credit for that referral. And that's how affiliate marketing works. If you're new to affiliate marketing, you've never done affiliate marketing before, a basic affiliate gets a link. And that link is your specific link to your advertiser's website. When you start promoting that link, driving eyeballs, whether that's online or offline, and somebody comes on and enrolls, you get credit for making that referral. Now, what you get for that credit is dependent on the program. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. Uh, but we've made it really simple. Uh, pretty much a three-step process, right? You're going to join as an affiliate. If you're watching this as a Shuffle user and you haven't become an affiliate, you're going to go to affiliate.lfi.com or on this page at the top, you're going to hit sign up or sign in and then you'll start that process. You'll log in with your uh, Shuffle username and password. It will walk you through that process to join as an affiliate. Next, you're promoting. Okay, there are two types of promotions. You're either doing the passive referral. Everybody who is on Shuffle right now is doing passive referring. We're sharing the cards that we've made. We're sharing content. We're following up. We're interacting. We're leveraging the technology uh, as a, a tool every day in our daily method of operation here. And in doing so, we're going to be exposing people to what Shuffle is, that tool, that technology, that information that we're sharing and a lot of times people are curious, what is that? What are you using? What is this tool? That's part of the passive referral process. One step up from passive referral, which all of our affiliates who want to achieve more with LFI are going to want to focus on is the active referral, where you're actually selecting specific marketing links to go out and share with your prospects. And again, this could be when you first meet them or part of that um, relationship development process, right information to the right person at the right time. So you wanna be thinking, planning and preparing on who you're gonna be interacting with. So you're gonna be promoting Shuffle and basically that's it. As people are enrolling and you're supporting that enrollment, you're gonna start earning commissions on those referrals. So we're gonna go through the affiliate earning structure. By the time I'm done, everybody should be an expert at this because it is truly very simple, okay? We're gonna talk about three numbers. Those three numbers that you wanna remember are 10%, 8%, and 1%. So here's how that breaks down. Every person that you directly refer, every person who signs up using your referral link, your invite code, you're gonna earn 10% on. And that's not just gonna be a one-time 10%. I think this is very important. We wanted to make something that you could do the work once and earn money over and over and over again, residual income. So that's what we're doing here. You're gonna earn 10% residually for the life of the account of your referral. So you refer it, they enroll, they are paying their subscription fee and you're getting a slice of that 10% each and every month that that person remains active with LFI. In addition to that, we're gonna give you a first month bonus. So when they come in and purchase all the, the, the entire LFI ecosystem, the $30 a month package, you may be offering them a discount code based on what link you're sharing. You're gonna get that 10% commission and you're gonna get a 40% bonus. 
So when you look at that collectively, we're actually getting you 50% of their first month. That's a way to get out, get started, get going quickly, and then 10% of that referral each and every month for the life of their account. Now, what I love about being an online marketer and especially our affiliate program is it's not just based on my efforts alone. Eventually, I've got a customer who has a product experience, a shuffle story, how they heard about it, how I told them about it, um, what they're using it for, what it's done for them, what they think it could do for other people. And you want to invite them to share that and help other people. When they start doing that, that generates network referrals. That's where that 8% comes into play. You're going to earn 8% on all of your network referrals. Basically, that happened from the people you directly referred all the way through six degrees of separation. We've all heard that, you know, everybody's separated by about six people. Think about that. If you shared this with one person and then they go out and reshare and so on and so forth, as it waterfalls down, you're earning 8% off of all of those sub referrals. And here's the kicker. It doesn't matter whether that sub, that network referral comes from an affiliate or a customer who's just out there using the technology. As long as you're an affiliate and it's falling within your network referral, you're going to earn the commission on it. So 10% direct, 8% for the network referral. The network referral is this powerful concept called leverage. I always use the quote. You guys may want to adopt this quote. I know Michael Ray says you want to give me credit for the quote the first time you use it. I'm going to give you know, John Paul Getty credit for the quote because it truly is his, but then you can adopt it as your own. And this is, I'd rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people or 100 men than 100% of my own effort. And when you take a step back and think about that, that's the power of leverage. This is the same thing that every business uses when they build up an organization. They use leverage. And this is the same thing that network referrals generate for you. However, we take it one extra step further with the direct referral bonus milestone. So, we have people who want to maximize leverage. I'm getting paid out on network referrals for a full six degrees of separation, but I want more leverage. I want a seventh degree, an eighth degree, a ninth degree, a tenth degree. That is in your complete control based on how many people you've directly referred. So if you've referred, directly referred 10 active members or 10 active subscribers, you're going to unlock that seventh level. When you hit 20 direct referrals, you're going to unlock an eighth level, 30, a ninth level, 40 you're gonna unlock a full 10th level, all of those at 1%. So if you're looking at this and you wanna maximize your earning potential, you wanna put your focus on getting to 40. The question is gonna be, how quickly can you get to 40? So you need to step back and ask yourself that and ask yourself, what am I going to be sharing to drive this? And we're gonna be talking about that in just a second here. So as we scroll through here, I'm a visual learner. I think this is a great opportunity when you're talking with people or sharing the opportunity with people, talking about the technology and talking about the affiliate program even. You can bring up this visual, again, with your referral ID at the top so you get credit if they end up enrolling through this. So you as the LFI affiliate, your direct referrals, you're earning 10% on unlimited width. If you want to go out and refer 10,000 people directly, you're going to earn 10% on all 10,000 people. The big question you need to ask yourself is, do I know or do I feel confident enough that I could go out and directly refer 10,000 people? Some of you, maybe yes. Others, maybe no. Maybe you only have 5, 10, 15 people that you could think would benefit from LFI and Shuffle. When you refer them and it starts to waterfall out, you're going to get the 8% on those network referrals. Everything that's coming in from two degrees of separation through six degrees of separation from you. Lastly, as you build your direct referrals, you've made one, two, three, four. Once you hit 10, you unlock that seventh level at 1%. Once you hit 20, you unlock the eighth level at 1%. 30, 40, 1% respectively for levels nine and 10. So very simple and easy to understand. There should be no questions, but if there are questions about the affiliate program, throw them down in the comments or in the social groups, and somebody from the LFI team will make sure to get those answered. The last thing I want to cover just briefly, Guy, and then we'll move on to our next agenda topic here, is the commission calculator. Some of you want to know what you can earn, and you want to plan about what, what is my strategy to get there. This commission calculator will be a valuable resource for you. It takes into account the average price that the person is spending. Maybe you're selling it for full retail at $30 a month. Maybe you're discounting it down with your affiliate referral uh, link for $20 a month. Maybe you're going out and making four, five, six referrals a month. You can drag that over. 
Then we want to take into consideration retention and duplication. This isn't one of those things where it's get rich quick. This isn't one of those things where you're going to have perfect duplication. You're going to get two people who get two people who get two people and so on and so forth. Some people will say no. Some people will become customers only. Some people will join your team as an affiliate and start to build your network referrals. You can take that into account here with your retention and duplication, and you can see how that income stream can grow over time based on how you're adjusting these. So based on what you wanna achieve, you can account for even the time it will take to get there. And when I said at the beginning, it's focus on 40, ask yourself this question right now. Do I know 40 people who I think could benefit from Shuffle or the LFI affiliate program? If you do, make a quick list and then start inviting those people to either get in on a conversation, look at some material, check out some links, and we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that you guys can share as well. So Guy, back over to you and let's move on to the next topic. Good. As a lot of you know, ER likes to talk, huh? Well, he gets excited and a lot of you got an opportunity to meet us out in Dallas this last week. Uh, we enjoyed it, Brittany. Thank you for joining. You can join these live, right? Yeah. You can come anytime. Um, you know, I see Rich here on as well. Danon, great to see you, meet you guys. It, it was a, a fun event. Um, so I've got two minutes before we get into our next topic. So I just wanted to, to, to say welcome to everybody. Uh, we had a great time, so much fun that we're, uh, we're going to do more. And make sure you come to those. I believe what we're also going to do is everyone that attended is going to get a free replay of the two-day event, as well as we will have those for, I believe, 9 or $10 for everyone else who wants to purchase and be able to see what happened. Um, talking about being poured into and pouring into others, it was something uh, pretty remarkable. Um, it wasn't a large group. Um, it, it was very intimate, and we we enjoyed every opportunity that we had to, to talk with everyone, to talk to them about our topic of a digital expansion and um, really really where we are today in the world of business and how Shuffle is really the ideal tool, subscription, to be utilized by anybody who's got a customer, a client, wants to get information out to them about any product and service. Um, if, if it's not being utilized, if there's a learning curve, if there's something difficult, uh, I'll, I'll use it. Our good friend, Michael Ray, always says it's only hard until you learn it. And next time, next Friday, I'll say that uh, as, as a good friend or I'll say it's mine, whatever that is. But um, we'll, we'll continue to move on. What we're going to go into next is um, make sure I have the correct process, what to share. So as an affiliate, you know, we want to be very uh, intentional on what we're doing on these trainings. We want to make sure you all know specifically uh, what's happening and, and what we're talking about. There's been past and we're, we'll, we'll just briefly glaze over the past. We talk about everything and what Shuffle can do and it gets so overwhelming. Well, here we're going to get very intentional about what we're going to talk about. So we're simply just going to go through as an affiliate, what can you share? What can you get to in the hands of others to learn about Shuffle, as well as what can you do to get the earnings that ER just briefly went over from the affiliate aspect, how you can earn 10%, 8%, down to 1% when you start building a network, and how you uh, work together to, to grow that network. So ER, if you want to pull up some of these screens, I don't know if, if you've got them all, I sort of put you on point right there to pull them up. But now you're asking the questions in the order that I've got the stuff up, guys. So here we go. Uh, two main pages that you're going to want to make note of uh, if you're out there sharing, okay? Uh, obviously, there are other cards, and we welcome you to build your own Shuffle promotion card or LFI promotion card. But the first one is the main website, okay? If people are looking for information, what is that? What are you using? How are you using that? Can you provide me with some more information? You can see I'm on lfishuffle.com, okay? But the key here is I've got my invite code or my referral ID there. In my case, it's slash ER. Make sure you're using your respective one. If I send anybody to this page, two things are happening. The first thing is they're getting all the information I wanted to present them with about what Shuffle is and what Shuffle does, and they get a nice overview of what they can do with the tools and with the technology. That way we can uh, you know, help support you in sharing that information with that individual. 
if they make an informed buying decision at that time, right? Last chance to try shuffle or any of these other calls to action, they're tied directly to you and your referral ID will show up. You'll get credit for that new enrollment. The second thing that it's going to do is it's going to place a cookie, right? And we've all seen that GDPR little pop-up that says, hey, this site uses cookies. It's all over the web. That's because it places a cookie on their browser. And if they come back in the future, that cookie is still tied to you. So even if they don't buy immediately, as long as they don't receive somebody else's shuffle or LFI invitation, if they come back, you're getting credit for that. Again, this is how affiliate marketing works. The other page we were just looking at, okay, and that was the LFI affiliate page. These are the two main marketing pages that you're going to find on LFI that you can be promoting out, talking about Shuffle and the technology. Either the LFI affiliate page, right? That's more opportunity focused for those who are looking for the ultimate side hustle. Maybe they want to join your team. They love the tool. It's made an impact in their business. You want to show them how they can benefit by sharing that with others. And obviously the primary one, we want to spread the word and help as many people as possible, whether that's you know, they need a, a digital business card or a brochure or some other piece or element of the functionality of Shuffle to support their business. Another area, guy, that I want to show real quick, and we're going to jump over. I'm actually going to share my phone screen. So bear with me as I sort of broadcast my phone here. And see what we get. There we go. All right, everybody should be seeing my phone screen now. We're actually in Shuffle. So I close the app. I'm launching my Shuffle app right there. For those of you who are new, maybe you're seeing that plus sign. For those of you who have a few cards, maybe you've got cards on there. I'm just going to click this plus sign. If you were at the event, you actually saw us build a business card in real time in about a minute. And then we attached it to something we're going to talk about that we announced at that event. But the thing I want to call out is you've got a little more option down here on your mobile device. You can click on that and you're going to see a little drop down menu, promote shuffle. Okay. And promote LFI. There's a drop down list there with some options. You can also look at using some of those and you'll see those within your uh, affiliate assets as well. When you use those templates, that's going to build up a card that uh, allows you. And we'll go ahead and say, let's select that shuffle one. That will build up a card for them to have some type of promotional offer. And obviously those links already have your referral ID tagged to them. So it's a great opportunity. Again, when we talk about the right information to the right person at the right time, you need to determine, am I sharing my personal card, my business card, my product or service card, et cetera, or are they asking about the technology and you maybe want to send them to the main website or an invite card to save on the technology, or even to learn about the affiliate program. So be aware of what you're sharing with who and when. Um, those are something that we really lean on. Guy, I don't know if you have anything else to add on the what to share side, but I would also encourage you, build your own card, share your Shuffle story. This is a great way. We always talk about it. How did you learn about Shuffle? Did somebody invite you to something, introduce you to something, give you something? What was that that you learned about? And then how are you using it? Are you using it just as a business card? Do you use it as your CRM and relationship management tool? Are you using it as a micro website or an NFC tap tool or et cetera? Uh, how are you leveraging this technology? And then what is it doing for you? Has it made an impact in your business, your livelihood, your life, your time savings? And then what do you think it could do for them? When you do that and put that story together and then focus on the individual you're sharing with, you have a high degree of likelihood that they're going to want to try Shuffle for themselves as well and you're going to get credit for that referral. And I know a lot of you I had mentioned, and Kathy has talked about it as well. You probably just heard a big sigh, a big snore. That's my bulldog. He's here every day. Uh, he, he's here working. So um, make sure that you know that it's not me. I don't have sleep apnea while I'm uh, <laughs> awake here. But, um, you know, just to add to that real fast, the elements uh, that ER went through, those, those websites, those URLs with your referral code, if you don't know where your referral code is or what it is, you can go to lfishuffle.com slash affiliate, sign in. That's going to be your back-end affiliate portal. On the left-hand side, it's going to say your invite code. And it's most likely going to be your first dot last name. Um, if there is uh, a thousand Richard Smiths on our platform, it's probably going to be richard.smith.com 
dot 1000 for the set thousandth person. Um, so if you do have something wonky, we'll allow you right now, we're early in this uh, opportunity, reach out to support at LFI.com and request a invite referral change. And what that will do is we can go in and adjust that to be um, whatever you're suggesting. If there's already another one, we will get back to you and let you know that there is uh, that referral is being used and we will need to take another pass at that. But um, we just wanted to go through that real fast. Now, sort of on to um, our fun little uh, release that we did in Dallas that everyone got the opportunity. They all got free ones, which was amazing for being there. Um, but there is a new offering from, from LFI. It is TAP. So TAP is the NFC cards. A lot of you have uh, been asking about them. Um, you may have seen them from other providers. Our TAP cards work specifically with your shuffle accounts. Very easy to set up, very easy to purchase. And got validation today. Every card that's been purchased is shipped today um, so far. So if you have ordered, those should be in the mail and, and out to you. But these tap cards are um, new, new releases, new products. ER said LFI or affiliate offerings. These fall into the affiliate program. Granted, the person's only paying one time for them, but you are going to earn when someone in your network who is a Shuffle user purchases these. To that point, they are only available for Shuffle users right now. So if people want these, have them also get a shuffle account because it will work hand in hand and they can go off. They can tap the cards. We have trouble shot with uh, Apple phones, with Android phones. We know what the issue is. If it's not pulling up, most likely it's an old hardware um, from, from the phone standpoint, but we're excited because we talk about building a card and then the simplicity of sharing a card with text uh, scan, those different types of things. You don't even need to pull your phone out anymore to share your card or to share your URLs. That's a beautiful thing about it as well. It doesn't have to be a shuffle card. It can go to any URL, but you get the ability to write it. That's what is called write on the card to make it go to the final destination. You can have one card and write it infinite amount of times. You can reset it. You can retry. You can have a, a card that you update. Um, that, that link is always going to be tied to something. So even if your, um, your website is updated, it's always going to have the most relevant information. So we're excited about TAP. ER, I'll throw it back over to you where people yeah. can purchase them, where they can find them, how to activate them. Um, Brittany, Kathy, Kathy, I think your training was one of the, the, the takeaways from the standpoint of how simple this is. In fact, it's so simple that, you know, you have the people that sit behind the computers all the time, ER and myself, we're going to be using these this weekend because there's events that we'll be going to. And, and it's fun to just watch people's faces when this link pops up and goes exactly where you hoped it does and they expect it does. Well, I, I think that guy, that's something really important here when we talk about technology. And if you made it to the event, we talk about the digital expansion. And for those of you who have been segueing this, obviously we've got a diverse demographic of people who use Shuffle and use LFI. Um, I, I remember a day when, uh, you know, the phone was hooked to the wall. It wasn't a supercomputer in my hand, guys. So we are moving from that analog age into the digital age. And the more you can support your business with technology and create an amazing experience with your potential customers, guys, that's what makes the difference between uh, somebody just getting online and searching Google for the types of products or services that you might offer. So uh, the tap card got revealed. Guys, the LFI one's right here. I'm going to go through a quick thing. We spent about a minute uh, at the event going through it. I know Kathy's going to do future trainings on this as well. This is a big thing. If you still struggle with technology sometimes, this is one of those set it and forget it and then walk around and share information and then watch people's eyes is like, you know, you're tapping the card and all of a sudden your link is popping up and then it's just linking directly to the card that you wanted to share them. I mean, I'm able to do this in the phone on the screen in real time, very simple. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you real quick where to get these and how to program them 
in probably the next five minutes or less, guys. Let's try and get that done in the next five minutes or less. Look, if you did not make it to the event, okay, as, as Guy said, we've got these tap cards available. This is our first beta run of this. They're built to work exclusively with the Shuffle technology for an easy way to program and reprogram or write and rewrite these cards. In addition, okay, we've done a lot more than just bring a new hardware to market, a new tap card to market. When you're out there networking, and we did a lot of networking at the event as well, it was amazing to walk up and if they had their shuffle open and their NFC tool open and I tapped their card, we could easily connect with each other and those cards would go directly into the card index. So this is a great tool for networking as well. So think about that from the affiliate perspective. If you're out there networking with people, sharing your information, it's a great way to introduce them to a new way to share their information and it all runs through the affiliate program. So we wanna give you as affiliates the most things that you can go out and promote to earn the most commissions and income. So I'm gonna jump back over to our desktop. I'm gonna show you the order process. Um, and, and before I share, what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna hold this up close to the camera. Okay, there's a QR code on the back of this card specifically and on all cards. When you scan this, and if you're on your computer and you just hold up your phone and take a picture with your camera of this QR code, it's gonna pop up a link. At the top of that link is the link to come in and order. As Guy mentioned, you got to have a Shuffle account. You got to be logged into your Shuffle account. So when you do that, you're going to come into your Shuffle account. So I'm going to jump over to our demo Shuffle account right here. And you're going to see up here, we're at app.lfi.com. And we've got this hashtag exclamation point and cards because we're looking at our cards here. What I want you to do, and this is just an internal thing, we're going to get a hyperlink in, embedded in here in the, in the section as we update the app, but just go back and remove the word cards and type in NFC. When you type in NFC, we're going to hit enter. There's actually a pop-up that says purchase tap cards, okay? When you click on the purchase tap cards, it's going to pop up the order process for purchasing the tap cards. Again, because this is going out only for Shuffle users for a limited time this week, only available to Shuffle users, you're gonna to need to be logged into your Shuffle account, okay? If somebody wants this and they are not on Shuffle, great opportunity to enroll them into Shuffle. You're gonna to select to buy NFC cards. We have a limit on the cards that you can order for any one order, and we're gonna cap that at 10 cards, okay? The cards are a one-time fee, of $20 per card, and you can order up to 10. So you select the quantity that you want, five, three, one. And I want you to be thinking about this. What are the different uses of your tap cards? Are you gonna have multiple on you at one time? Are you gonna be placing something, uh, uh, one somewhere? Do you have a team where you want everybody on the team to have a tap card? Think about that because you may need more than one. In fact, we had multiple people at the event buying multiple cards so that they could add those to take away back to their teams or back for multiple uses. Additionally, make sure you focus on putting in the proper shipping address, okay? You're gonna put the shipping information in here for shipping address. It will ask you to verify that shipping information. We wanna make sure you receive your cards and we will not be responsible for incorrect shipping information. So. Make sure it goes in. Make sure you use the mailing address that you know you receive packages at. Again, it will summarize the whole total, a one-time fee. We are including on these first beta uh, run shipping and handling as well in there. So it's a flat fee, $20 per card. If you increase the count of cards, you'll just see that count increase. And then you're going to hit continue. You'll validate the address. It will use the card that you have on file for your Shuffle account and that will go on your monthly statement. So very easy to order those cards. As Guy said, everybody who's already ordered cards, they're already out coming to you. So they've been shipped and will continue to fill those orders as they come in. Um, very, very, very powerful. Why? Because they're very easy to program and use as well. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. In fact, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how I program my own tap card we're just going to go through the demo account to do it. And I'm going to jump back over to my mobile device because tap works really good on mobile. So let's jump over there and take a quick tour. So during this awkward time of silence while he's pulling up <laughs> that screen, um, just want to make sure everyone caught that. For limited time only, shuffle users only will get access to purchasing these cards at $20. 
okay? That is the beta run of these cards. In the future, they will go up because there is a lot more power being developed into these from an analytical standpoint and how it works really well with your shuffle account. So let's look at it. Obviously, if you met me or, or, or we interacted at the event and I tapped your phone at the event, this is the card that showed up and it had all of my information, uh, how they learn about LFI, how they become an affiliate, my videos, all of that stuff. Again, what do you want to share with the people that you're interacting with? Is it going to be a business card? Is it going to be a service brochure? Is it going to be information about an upcoming event or something else that you're doing? You choose what you want to put on your tap cards, okay? So we're going to swipe that up. We're going to launch our Shuffle app. All of you should have downloaded the app, okay? If you haven't downloaded the app and if you had the app but you do not have auto updates on, Go to your respective app store and make sure you have the latest version. I did hear from a few people who said, oh, I'm not seeing this NFC uh, tool within my Shuffle account. That tells me that most likely you don't have auto updates on. Make sure you go into your app store, download the latest version so that you have the latest update for the app. Why is that important? Let's jump back over to the app. It's because when I hit this more option, the thing that I want to see, guys, and I'm just taking a little photo here so I can mark up on here, is this NFC tool. If you're not seeing that within your app, you don't have the latest version. Doesn't matter whether you're on Android or iPhone, just make sure you're going out and downloading the latest version. Why is this important? Because we've made it dead simple to program your NFC cards. This is the true power of LFI. It's about elevating your business, simplifying your life, and really streamlining and simplifying tools so that they're easy to use. If you've ever used a third-party NFC programmer, it can be a little bit complex and confusing. So let's go back and program this NFC. So we're on here. The first thing I want to do is I want to open my NFC tools. This is the page where somebody would tap my car, their card to my phone and we could connect. I mentioned that earlier. I'm not scanning one. I'm actually writing one. And what I want to call out, and I'm, again, going to take a quick screenshot up here, and I, I want to highlight this. In the upper corner of that NFC tool, you're going to see a little icon that pulls up all of your cards. Okay, so if you're looking to connect one of your shuffle cards to the NFC uh, tap, this is the quickest way to do it. Okay, I'm going to click on the gear. I'm going to select which card I want to program. It's going to load it in. I hit right, and I tap the card. Guys, that's the training. This is how easy it is to write NFC tap cards, okay? So we've just written it. We've got this success message that it's now been programmed, okay? If we want to look at that construction card, all I need to do is tap the phone onto my card as if I was tapping somebody else's, and now we're opening up our demo construction card, okay? If we want to sh uh, shift it over to something else, again, all I need to do is open up the app, select the icon, go to maybe it's my realtor card. Select that. It loads in the link. Hit write, write it. I get the little success message so I know that it's written. And if I want to validate that, guys, all I have to do is just go back to my phone home screen, tap it, open it up, and we're going to see now we're at our real estate card. So very easy to reprogram over and over and over again. If you have any URL that you want to write to a card, you can write it within this section. It will select both um, secure and unsecure HTTP and HTTPS hyperlinks. The other two things, real quick, guy, before we open this up for Q&A, that I want to call out when programming your tap cards, okay? Two things. If you are under your card section, you've got your cards right here and you're mousing around, and you let's put it back to the construction card. If you click on that card, there's a little gear in the upper right-hand corner, okay? I'm going to open this up. We're going to circle it again to call that out for everybody. Big gear right there. If you click on that gear, you're actually going to see the NFC tool writer pop up as well. So let's go on ahead and do that. We're going to hit that gear. You can see right here, we've got a right to tap card. All I have to do is select that. It's going to take me longer to take these screenshots to show you how to go through the flow than it is to actually write the card. I'm hitting right to tap card. I hold it up. It's programmed. Again, very simple. We're trying to make this very intuitive for you to use so that you can program it to your construction card. Now here, some of you have campaigns, okay? And you're using campaigns for different things. You know, maybe I wanna create a tap card campaign and measure just the traffic I get from people I'm tapping. 
you can select any of your campaigns. And I would uh, recommend you know, labeling it tap card and whatnot. For this example, we'll just select my Facebook Messenger campaign. Again, you're gonna see the same gear in that upper right hand corner. You're gonna select it and you're gonna hit right to tap card, tap the card and it will write it. So there are three flows for anybody to easily write their tap card as long as you have an existing shuffle account. And now I'm getting all my view alerts from the views that we've been demoing while we've been on this call. So guys, that is the tap card overview. Uh, as Guy said, it is limited quantities right now while we have it released in beta for a limited price, $20 per card, only available to shuffle users. You can buy up to 10. I have already heard, Guy, of shuffle users who are upselling and reselling tap cards as affiliates out to their teams and other members of the community. So again, as an affiliate, here's another product in your arsenal that you can go out and support and help others market their business and yet earn a income off of this. So Guy, so I'm, I'm going to leave this over to you. Go ahead. So I'm going to uh, queue you up for one more little demo. So I'm going to, why, why we talk through, I'll have Kathy come on as well. Um, but yeah. what, what I want you to do, ER, is log into your personal account. And I want you to show people how this connection piece works with the NFC card. Um, so, so that's going to be a big thing. I know, Kathy, you've already got a video up there on uh, LFI Insiders. Make sure you're in the Facebook groups, pages. Uh, I think that goes back to being an affiliate, making sure you have your notifications turned on in the channels that you're going to get information from. So your notifications on Shuffle, make sure you're receiving those. Um, it, it is sort of uh, working a little wonky. We're working on that from the standpoint when you push it. Just go into more and go into announcements. And announcements is going to give you everything that's happening. If there was something pushed live to you every day, again, open your app, select more in the lower right-hand corner, select announcements, and you can go through and look to see what was happening, where it was happening um, from trainings. We're always on LFI Insiders on Facebook. Uh, go LFI is going to get a lot more traffic as well on Facebook. And then you all as affiliates are going to get a lot more uh, affiliate driven uh, trainings, information on LFI affiliates. Make sure you have those notifications for those groups turned on, as well as we're always, whenever we're on a live a Zoom, it's pushed over into our YouTube channel, which is Go LFI. There's a lot of old older trainings, Friday with the founders, you can go back through. Uh, as an affiliate, what can you do? You can invite people to go watch some of those and see if there's an interest. Um, but, you know, we went live. And as soon as we went live, I got the notification from four different locations of being live. So um, make sure you have those turned on. So ER, I'll, I'll uh, have you go through that. But Kathy, also want to bring you up, um, talk a little bit about what you experienced and then uh, what, what your Tuesday training is going to look towards to make sure everyone gets an opportunity to join and participate in that one. Yeah, and let's go through that real quick and then bring Kathy on. So I've got my own personal shuffle account. At the event, I was sort of amazed. A few people came up to me and said, oh, you actually use it. You've got a lot of cards. Guys, use the tool, use the technology, whatever you want to promote for. Okay, I'm going to go back over to my more. As I said, if I'm out networking, I'm going to go to the NFC tool and it's going to bring up that reader. Somebody connects theirs to me and you can see it just brings up their card on your system. Um, in addition, you hit connections info and you'll see that I've got the ability to request to connect. Once I do that, I can reshare cards with them. They can reshare cards with me. And we'll go on ahead and accept that connection request, okay? Once you've gone through that whole process, you will have that connection in the system. The card will go into your card index and you guys will be networked together. Why is this important, guys? Kathy might speak to it in just a second, but relationship is so powerful, especially when you empower people to refer you business, okay? We all get asked all the time, do you know a dot, 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 right? Do you know a contractor, a plumber, a roofer, a computer guy, a consultant, a whatever, a dog trainer, somebody who uh, you know, does whatever product or service that you need? Think about having the opportunity to empower people to share your information when they get that question. That's, that's what I think is very powerful with the easy way to network and connect using the tap and the shuffle. So Kathy, I'm gonna pass this over to you. Feel free, um, 
things that went on at the event, anything else you'd like to share? Love to hear from you. Um, the event, yes, the event was amazing. Um, I think that um, the really cool part was seeing you guys in person, you know, speak on the stage and really, uh, you guys, we should all be so proud of them. <laughs> they were so nervous and they did so good. They represented Shuffle and all of Shuffle Nation so well. Um, I think that we will be talking a lot in the future. And we know what I'm really excited about is I, I, I learned from everybody else, right? So we did a little uh, Q&A Tuesday night already. Um, we've already kind of, we've slipped the cards into different um, applications. Um, you know, uh, we the, the clear plastic, a lot of times we talk about those clear plastic frames. You can slip the card in there if you had an event, have people tapping on your cards. I think the biggest takeaway I got from um, one of the people at the event was um, listening to y'all on stage was the friction, reducing friction, right? So we reduced friction one time already by using the QR codes, right? So we went from, let me send this to you to just open your camera. Now yeah. you don't even have to do that, right? So we've reduced friction even further. I have a great story, uh, it'll be quick. So last week uh, we got home from the event and I pulled my car in the garage and for some weird reason, a part, a part, part of the, um, the ceiling has kind of come loose and fell down. So I spent most of last week after the event trying to find a handyman. I just need somebody to reattach this portion of the ceiling. I called no less than seven people, all, you know, people that I either know or people that I got from my next door app. And they're like, oh, just text me a picture. Let me see if I can find that or if I can fix that. Right. So I text somebody, two people text, text, and their text said, this phone number doesn't receive text at this time. Guess what? Next I'm too busy. I have too many things to do to call you back, tell you your stupid text doesn't work. I want, I want immediate service, just like everybody else, right? I have too many other things on my plate. Reducing the friction, even one more nanosecond, going like, oh, you're in a hurry. Here's my card. Beep. Done. That's the whole, that's the whole process. So I'm excited to learn how everybody else is using CAP um, and just see kind of where we go with this. Like, I'm super excited. And I don't know. I think you guys should call on Brittany. Brittany's, uh, Brittany was at the event. Yeah, she's going to laugh at me. I think y'all should call on Brittany and see what she got out of the event. <laughs> well, you've been called out, Brittany. So, you know, what, I, what I'd like to do is just take an opportunity, share, share with us your thoughts on the event um, and, and what you got out of it. If you would attend the next one, if you'd uh, share or invite somebody to attend the next one, what you'd, what you'd say to them about it. Because uh, I think we're going to be doing more of these and it was very great to get in real life together and actually uh, you know, work together on a bunch of different topics. You coming up? I don't know if it, it's on mute. Oh, are you talking to me? Uh-oh, you've been called out. Yeah. All right. So the event was awesome. A lot of great information. I really did love seeing, A, meeting you guys. So I've had Shuffle, but I'm, you could call me a very beginner of Shuffle, right? So I'm just finding new ways to use Shuffle in my business. Um, and the tap card also prompted even more ways, right, of how I can make it easy for my clients to learn about me, book for me, pay for my services. Like that was a brilliant thing for me to a light bulb that went off was like, Oh, just use the tap card to go link to how they can pay. Right. Yeah. Um, so it was awesome to right take the deep dive and meet you guys and just have that, um, have you on hand for that one-on-one -on -one learning experience. Awesome. Well, we appreciated you, you making it out and we really enjoyed meeting you and everybody else who, who made the event. And again, I know we've already been talking about what's the next one going to be, um, you know, very powerful from uh, success to significance event that we just had. And I look forward to having the next one. Uh, I see a hand up. Stephanie, is that you? Go on ahead and uh, lower the hand. Unmute yourself. Come on okay. up. Okay. Uh, first of all, yeah, uh, I wish I could have been there with you all. Um, so a couple of questions. One is you said that right now um, it can only be programmed to a shuffle card, but in the future it can be uh, programmed to other things or is it always just gonna be programmed to shuffle? Actually right now, Stephanie, in that little more section where you saw the NFC tool, you can put any URL there. 
any URL. We've made it very convenient and we've simplified the process of grabbing your shuffle cards and campaign URLs to write them to cards. But if you have a alternative URL, maybe you have a website, maybe you have a Bitly link, maybe you have an Etsy store, maybe you have a Amazon store, you can link directly to that. So that's very powerful. If you're out there promoting this as an affiliate to other users who may not be on Shuffle, they can start using Tap immediately until they start getting their Shuffle cards. Here's my one word of caution for third-party URLs. Yes, absolutely, you can do it. How are you tracking it? My recommendation is I would push them through a Shuffle card even if I'm redirecting them to another URL. In the example Brittany gave, if it was like, hey, you're my client, you just had service from me and now I have to give you the bill. What a great way to give somebody their bill. Here's the way you're gonna pay me, tap, and you just sort of give them the link to Venmo you or go check out or whatnot. I would still put that link on a shuffle card, like my Venmo link, pay with credit card, whatnot, so that I can start tracking that. Remember, information is so important. So that's the one word of caution I will tell everybody. You can put any URL on a tap card, guys, and you can do it through the shuffle app in like one second, just make sure that you understand the limitation on the tracking side, because it's just going to send them direct to that URL. Okay. So then my second question is if somebody signs up on free shuffle, then they can get a tap card. No, they're going to need to be a full shuffle account user because they're going to have to go into that hashtag exclamation point slash NFC. Or if you're seeing me right now and you scan this, this will link to a shuffle card and there is a purchase tap cards link on there. And if you're logged into your shuffle account, it will prompt you with that little pop up to order. Uh, in order for that to be there right now, it's only available to full shuffle subscribers. Uh, no, in I, the like, future, I, actually, I actually like that. I think it's so, I mean, basically you can tell people for a one time $40, you're getting the full LFI system. You're your tap card and then it's only twenty dollars a month after that exactly so again we want to empower you guys as affiliates to be one creative on how you can use this to promote yourself your brand your primary venture your products or service but two be thinking about how you could support helping others with one of these tools as well and i think the power of this tool to kathy's point it cannot be um, uh, reiterated enough is lowering friction okay if i have to ask somebody hey uh, let's connect, you know, uh, open up your phone, what's your text number, uh, you know, all of this other stuff. It's great to text people that I know and that I have an existing thread with. But if it's somebody new, I just want to get them the information as quickly as possible. For those of you who played around with campaigns, I can even tap this and the first thing that would pop up would be like a lead capture form. Hey, share your information back with me and my card will be revealed. And that can be a quick way to exchange information with non-shuffle users. And again, it's a quick tap. So uh, very powerful in reducing that overall friction. And it's just one other way to share. And that's really the powerful thing, right? How are we sharing with the people? Is it social? Is it text? Is it email? Is it tap? Is it airdrop? We want to give you as many ways to connect with your potential customers as possible. Angela, you're up. Hello. Yep. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. We'll come back to you, Stephanie. Angelo, go okay. ahead. Unmute yourself. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Hey, we're going to see you at the next one. I know it, Angelo. Yes, yes you will. Yes, you will. Um, quick question. I heard a couple of things about um, um, how the event was awesome. I hate I missed it, but I will definitely be at the next one. Um, I have a couple of questions some of the, my um, teammates wanted me to ask. Yes. Um, I think we said on the – this is the beta version, but when it comes out, will it be overrides or anything that they'll make on the cards, or is it just the one time – one time. So it'll be one time because it's a one time purchase. We're not charging it. There's no subscription with this. So they're only going to earn one time, but the price will increase just based on the uh, the additional functionality that will come along with it. Okay. So, so we need to will, tell them to get it now. earn on every singular purchase, Angelo, of a tap card that happens within your referral network. The purchases of these will follow the same payout structure we went through at the beginning of this call. But okay. to Guy's point, it's not a subscription. It's a one-time fee, so it'll be a one-time commission. Okay. One of the other questions was, on a card, 
I'm glad we got it with our platform. I've been using this for a while, but I'm glad we have it on our platform. Yeah. But can you have multiple shuffle links connected to one card or you got to do it at one time? Give you an example. I got a young lady that has a business A, business B, and she using shuffle on one tap card because she have both of those at the same time, those links on it, or it has to be one link per so the answer it is it depends. In the past, Kathy has trained on what we call a link hub card, right? It's one card that might have all my other sub shuffle card links on it. That would be a great way to solve for that, Angelo. However, if she has two shuffle cards, you saw how easy it was to program the tab yes. card. Yes. My thought would yes. be, depending on where she's going, if she's going to a network event and she's going to be focusing on card A, she can program it to card A. Card B, program it to card B. In scenarios where she might meet somebody and say, look, I do wedding planning, you know, DJ, photography, and those are my three businesses, you might want to consider putting together something like a hub link card where it's like, here's my link to my DJ card, my wedding card, my photographer card, et cetera, all on one card. Again, okay. when we think about the right information to the right person at the right time, think about how those two cards play well with each other. You know, I don't want to say do my, uh, you know, my my wedding pasture, uh, uh, you know, service <laughs> card along with my bail bond card. You know what I mean? They just cool. sort of conflict with each other, I would think. So yeah. I would instead use them separately. Just be aware of that. Okay. And last question. Yeah. Will the cards ever be able if someone's let's say, again, it might be a pastor, it might be a restaurant. Will yep. we be able to have our test cards customized like with different logos and things on it? So this is something, Angelo, that we are exploring. We want to hear from you guys, especially affiliates. We could explore that type of avenue. But the challenge with this is volume. Volume is key, especially with customization, because there is a price per card to get these created, right? So um, that is something we could explore. If you have a client or if you yourself want to order NFC cards customized in volume, the key here is reach out to support at LFI, and we can explore that with you, but it's going to be based on volume. And, and when I'm thinking volume, Look, guys, we didn't order one, two, five cards, okay? We're talking about <laughs> volume uh, in order to do customization. So, Angelo, I hope that helps you out. We're still going to flush that out with our vendor. Uh, we're still also looking for how do we maybe increase the, the power of the antenna that's in here for NFC? Maybe how, how do we look at uh, even different card styles or other different NFC uh, hardwares to make available to people? The key that we wanted to focus on is – not just the hardware, but making programming and reading and writing the hardware very simple. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Awesome call. Yeah, thanks, awesome Angelo. Call. I look forward to seeing you at the next event. I mean, yes, there's sir. something about in real life, my friend. And uh, I'm excited for, for the next one, uh, just based on the feedback we've been getting from the first one. Definitely. Definitely. Great. Okay, any other questions yeah, out there? Yeah. You have your hand raised? We do have some some in the chat. And so, Trisha, you had asked a question about when you tap your card to a stranger and it passes over to them, do you get their information? And Kathy gave a, a good response. It would what I would do and Kathy would do, and I believe ER and a lot of people would create a campaign. And within that campaign, we would add a mandatory or optional lead capture. And what happens, because you can add a mandatory campaign to one of these tap cards, you can tap it, the person can select it, the very first thing they're going to see is a lead capture. And they can't get past that until they fill that information out. So that's one way to grab their information. The other way is, um, I think, if they're a stranger and they're a user of Shuffle, is just like ER had shown uh, just a little bit ago, is making sure that you go to the NFC tool in the more section, select it, tap their card. There's an easy way to make connections. Then their card will load into your card index and you will have them as a connection from that point moving forward. So hopefully that answers your question. It's sort of a two-part um, Stephanie, from the payout, there's one time it pays out in the normal affiliate program. There's no bonus tied to it. So when you refer uh, someone and they purchase 
a shuffle or a tap card. They will er, you will earn um, for the initial direct referral of that for being the uh, inception of the referral. You will earn two dollars. Everyone else will earn, uh, I believe it's a dollar sixty or whatever at their eight percent for levels two through six. But, so, but, but but when they get the shuffle, do we still get our fifty? Like if I do it as the yes. first first yes. time, I'm getting them on shuffle and the top tap card. It's twelve dollars because I make ten dollars plus yeah. the additional two. So twelve dollars yes. the first month, and then you are two dollars ongoing. Correct. Each of those would be treated and run through that commission thing, how they would typically run. So shuffle will get the shuffle commissions, just as it, as it's shown in the commission uh, program, uh, the affiliate program overview, and the same thing with the, the tap card. So the only difference is the tap card is a singular billing, the shuffle will be the reoccurring billing. So you'll get the shuffle payment commission over and over again for the life of their account at tap card, you'll only get each time tap cards are ordered. Right. Well, that's how I would want to do it. I would want to sell it as a you know, package. It yeah, package. I agree, guys. And this is something I know we've announced uh, before, you know, uh, bundling the package or, or positioning it as a package as a full service solution to the people you're trying to help and refer is a great first entry point. And then maybe stepping back if, if, if they're sort of um, objecting to some of those things. So to try to stay on our agenda, I know we're past that Q and A a little bit from from the yep. starting at the ten thirty. Um, be aware though. So so moving forward, we will adjust a little bit. Um, probably going to move Q and A to be a little bit longer, um, making sure that we get really dedicated on the training prior to this. But to wrap this up, uh, Dana, uh, last hand, last question, and we'll wrap it up. Good seeing you here. It was great meeting you, buddy. Yeah, and I had a lot of fun with you all over the weekend, too. Uh, my question is, when a person like tap your, when you tap the, use a tap card on another person's phone, the only way is for them to keep your card at that time, because it's just a URL at that time, for them to keep it, you have to save it into your contacts or save it on the home screen, right? Or is there another way of going around it? Yep, correct, correct. So what the tap card is doing, it's no different than say how the camera scans a QR code, it's a URL. The same thing when you tap, it takes them to a browser page that is your card. And then they have a few choices. If they scroll down to the bottom of the card, there's the save contact info and they can save it to their contacts with that URL so they can always come back. back. Or what I recommend and Dana and you mentioned, show them how to save it to their home screen so that they can easily come back in the future. Uh, again, this is great for uh, somebody who might update their card periodically or somebody who might do scheduling through their card. You know, if you own a salon and your clients want to schedule appointments with you and maybe they're scheduling every two weeks or maybe they're scheduling every few months. Again, let me save my card to your home screen so that all you have to do is tap on it and then, you know, click here to schedule with me. So you're going to want to have them or coach them on that extra step. Yes, you presented them with your information but then recommend saving it to their home screen or saving it to their contact information for future reference. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for the question. Let's wrap it okay, up. Guy, well, yeah, it's that time, guys. I, I really appreciate everybody's time. We've been on here for about an hour. As uh, you've seen, we've been talking a mile a minute with gusts up to 50 miles an hour, and we've been covering a lot of information. And, I'm telling you what, uh, there's only so much you can pack into a one hour block on Fridays. This is why I loved getting together in real life. I know we're going to be posting out a lot of other live sort of video calls and things that are, are, are going to be uh, seen through the broadcast. Uh, some other things I would recommend. There's a lot of people on this call, right? Look around. If you have team members that are you're generating network referrals on and you don't see them on this Friday with the founder call, this is your call to action to invite them to join you to participate in these types of calls. Every single time I am on a call for LFI and for Shuffle, whether that's Tuesdays with Kathy, whether that's the Wednesdays on the Mindset of a Champion training, whether it's Friday with the founders, with Guy and I, I, I learn something new just from hearing from you guys. And this is that collaborative environment where we wanna open it up for everybody. When I'm on with Kathy on Tuesdays, Every time, without fail, I'm going to learn of a new use for Shuffle. Somebody's using it over here. Somebody's using it over there. And it's going to spark ideas for me on how I can personally use it 
and how I can share it with others to help them. So be thinking about that, guys. This is your call to action. If you haven't built a card, build a card. If you haven't shared a card, share a card. If you started to build your team or make direct referrals, go out and start to scale that up. What are you going to share with who today is the big question. And are you going to uh, lean forward in interacting with us and engaging with us and being more, uh, more active? So we invite you to participate in that. Our next call, it's going to be Will Skill and Refill over the weekend. There aren't any big events going on that are live events. This is your chance to pour into yourself, guys. Uh, uh, adopt the skill set. Train with the tools. Get prepared for next week. And our next live call is Monday Sprint Planning. We're going to think, plan, and prepare. Get a, a game plan in place for the week so that we can win the week. So we will see everybody bright and early on Monday. Enjoy the weekend, everybody. And we'll talk to you then. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Guide well, you have one, one, one last gold nugget. One last gold nugget that we sort of pulled and, and it really spoke to us from the event is people don't buy products and services. They buy relationships. And LFI and Shuffle is your ultimate relationship builder. Yes. It's only hard until you learn it. Implement it. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.